In order to play Comet, you will need two standard 52 card decks and a way to keep score. You will use the two decks to build a single Comet deck. Begin by separating the two decks into black and red. So that way you have one pile of black cards and one pile of red cards. In this game, you are only going to play with the black cards. So the red cards can be set aside. The next thing you need to do is remove all four of the black aces from this Comet deck. This game does not use the aces. The final step is to remove one of the black nines from your deck and replace it with the red nine. Traditionally, the nine of diamonds. This card is the Comet. When all is said and done, you should have a 48 card deck ranked two through king and one single red nine. That is the Comet. Each player should cut the deck to determine who will deal first. Whoever draws the lowest card deals first. The dealer should give 18 cards to each player. Deal them out one at a time. To prepare your hand for play, go through the cards and organize them by rank with two as the lowest and king as the highest. All right, here we have both players' hands organized by rank from lowest to highest. And normally you would keep your hands secret, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna play with both players' hands exposed. Comet is a hand shedding game that challenges each player to try and get rid of as many cards as possible from their hand before the game is stopped. The player opposite of the dealer gets to go first. In this video, player one will go first and we will say that player one is at the bottom of the screen. On a player's turn, players will try to play as many cards as possible in sequential order, laying them one at a time. Player one begins their first turn by laying the five. They can continue to lay with the six, seven, eight, and nine. This player does not have a 10, so their turn has been stopped. Once a player's turn is stopped, their turn is over and play passes to their opponent. The opponent must continue the discard pile from where it left off. So player two must start with 10. Player two is able to continue the discard pile. They start with the 10 and then play the Jack, the Queen, and the King. In this game, Kings are stops. When a player is able to play a King, the pile has been stopped. That player can start the pile over again from whichever number they choose. Player two chooses to start the pile from the number two. Then they're able to play the three, the four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now that the player has played the nine, they have been stopped. They do not have a 10 and are unable to continue. So they choose to play the Comet. In this game, the Comet acts as a wild card and as a stop. Here, player two chooses to use it as a stop so they can play more cards from their hand. Player two chooses to play their three and their four. Now their turn has been officially stopped. They have no more cards to play. Play passes back to player one. On player one's next turn, they are able to play the five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After playing their nine, their turn is over. They have been stopped. So play passes back to player two. Player two does not have a 10. So their turn is stopped as well. Once both players have been stopped, the round is over and it's time to tally up your score. Before we figure out the scores, I need to show you just a couple more rules. If a player has all four cards of a single number, they can play those cards all at once. So if the discard pile is showing a six, this player could play all four sevens at once. Even though the comment is wild, it can only be used on its own. It cannot be used to complete a set of four. So here, the player would have to have all four sevens. In this game, number cards are worth the value of the card. So twos are worth two points, fours are four points, fives are five points, and so on. All face cards are worth 10 points. The comment is also worth nine points, but if you win, 
and your opponent still has the comet in their hand, your score is doubled. There are also two special ways to win using the comet. The first way is if you get rid of all of your cards, with the comet being your last card played, you earn double the points. If you play the comet as your last card and you play it as a nine, a natural nine, your score is quadrupled. So you earn four times the points. All right, let's go ahead and figure out the score for the example game. Player one was left with all of these cards at the end of the round. So they have 61 points. Player two only had these three cards left. They only had 28 points. In Comet, the player with the lowest total score left in their hand wins the round. The winning player earns points equal to the difference between their opponent's hand and their own. So here you would take 61 minus 28 and get 33. Player two earned 33 points this round. If you're able to win the round by getting rid of all of your cards, you earn points equal to the total value of your opponent's hand. So in this example, player two would have earned 61 points. And that is how to play Comet. Keep in mind, some of the rounds might be very, very short, and some rounds could last a little longer. It all depends on the deal. Determine how many rounds you're going to play at the beginning of the game. The player with the highest score at the end of that many rounds wins.